morning. They have reported a cluster of outages. I'm um, about 62 in the um, Franklin County area, so be careful out there. No estimated time right now. But we are seeing a trend moving up in Talquin Electric's um, area right now. Their Bristol substation seeing about 160 outages right now. That's up from only about 30 that they reported just about 10 minutes ago. So definitely seeing the effects of the wind there. We've also checked in with several of our local law enforcement agencies. Many of them are not reporting any storm damage. That is a very good thing right now. Most recently we've checked in with um, Liberty County, Franklin County, um, Bluntsville too. None of them are reporting any outages. So that is a very good thing right now. But just stay away from any windows. You know, wind can blow debris towards your way. Also, if you are out driving, you want to remember turn around, don't drown. I mean, it only takes a foot of water to sweep your car away, so don't get out there and walk. No need to be out sightseeing right now, folks, so just be careful. We'll continue to track the latest. No, Talquin Electric just hung up with them. They're trying to track the source of that outage. You give us an update on when they can restore power in that area. Reed. Yeah, thanks, Angela. So right now we're still seeing that tornado warning effect. What we're really focusing on right now is Jackson County. Now, this does not include Chattahoochee. This does not include Mariana, but we are seeing some extremely strong storms roll through those areas. We're talking about the tornado warning, though, in that rotation that we've been seeing. It's right along in south of I-10 at the moment. That's the area that we're seeing with that kind of biggest threat that's ongoing at the moment. You see this red flashing polygon. This tornado warning is in effect until 9:45 a.m. We got a while to go here. Showing you this here again. Some of these graphics may not be very familiar to you. This is the shear rate. So this is showing, in an intuitive sense, just spin in the atmosphere or rotation. You can see those areas highlighted in green right there. They are pretty much getting right along I-10. So that is where we have that potential spin. And if there was a tornado. It would likely be in those areas shaded in green right there. Now, again, that is not a guarantee or a home run, and these rotations have not been as defined. If I had to guess, I would imagine this is most likely evolving into more of a straight line wind threat, and certainly the heavy rainfall threat. Your traditional radar view there shows that it is absolutely pouring rainfall in these areas. That's heavy stuff. And again, we have a flash flood threat through all this as well. So it is not just the tornado threat, but as long as there's a tornado warning across our coverage area, we are required to stay on air with you and we'll stick with you online as well. So this is an FCC requirement. We do apologize if we are cutting into your regularly scheduled ABC programming here at 919, but we're going to be with you till this warning disappears. If it's allowed to expire, that will be until 945, so that's about 26 more minutes. In these areas up and down I-10 in Jackson County, that's where you want to be in the safe place. Now you got areas like Grand Ridge, Oakdale, Simsville, Rock Creek, Shady Grove. Those are all areas within this warning that should be in your safe place right now. And if you can't hear us from TV and you're in those areas and you want to stick with the coverage, check out Facebook Live. You can check us out and live stream it from the ABC 27 app and we'll have all this for you there as well. But this red flashing polygon is the area that we're really honing in on and focusing on while a lot of us are dealing with heavy rainfall, strong winds all from Hurricane Sally. This tornado threat will be with us and that tornado warning was just allowed to expire. I'm going to step back real quick. We're going to zoom out and take a full look at the map. We're going to hope that that will be the last tornado warning for now and that these will be allowed to expire. And then we're going to let you get back to your regularly scheduled programming. It looks like right now we are totally severe warning free. Nothing right now. Tornado watches remain in effect until 7 p.m. Flash flood watches remain in effect until tomorrow. If there are any additional tornado warnings issued through the remainder of the morning or afternoon, we'll be back with you on air and online.